Hi, I'm Kurt Larson, and I'm the CTO here at Nimblelink. Today I'm going to introduce the Skywire CAT M1 development kit. The CAT M1 development kit has a handful of features to allow you to quickly develop with the CAT M1 Skywire and device certified modems. On the top side of the M1 development kit, you'll find the Skywire M M1 modem. Attached to the modem are two RF cables that reach out to the antenna ports. The board supports two SMA connectors and attached on the bottom connector is an LTE antenna in orange. On the top side, this SMA port is connected to the GPS connector on the modem. The barrel jack applies power to the entire system. This USB jack instantiates two COM ports on your computer. The first COM port is for communicating with the modem's UART interface. The second COM port is for communicating with the modem's GPS port. There's also a lithium ion battery connector which can allow you to plug in a, and use a lithium battery to power the device as well as some development kits. This interface also allows you to charge the lithium ion battery. On the top side, you'll find an array of jumpers, which are pre-configured from the factory to support using the USB port for communications. The M1 development kit supports an Arduino interface on the bottom side of the board. If you want to use an Arduino compatible development kit, you will need to change the jumpers on the top side of the board. Please review the user manual documentation for how to properly set these jumpers. On the end of the development kit, you'll find a USB connector and two buttons. This USB connector is specific for updating the firmware of the M1DK, excuse me, updating the firmware of the Skywire M1 modem. For more information on the Skywire CAT M1 Skywire modem or the development kit, please see the links below. If you need a data plan, you can go to go.nimblelink.com and purchase one now.